Seoul, South Korea is a vibrant and exciting city, one that deftly combines ancient history with ultra-modern design and technology. The city is filled with a wide range of tourist attractions of all types, from outdoor adventures like exploring Mount Nam San and its surrounding park to indoor fun like visiting one of Seoul's many museums. Discover the best places to visit in this exciting city with our list of the top attractions and things to do in Seoul. Number 1 in Seoul Tower Rising almost 500 meters above the city, this communications and observation tower provides dramatic views of the city from its perch on the side of Mount Nam San. A cable car whisks you up the side of the mountain to the base of the tower. From here, you can go up in the tower and visit any one of four observation decks, one of which is a rotating restaurant. Number 2 Bukshan Hanuk Traditional Village For a taste of Korean traditional culture and architecture, a visit to the Bukshan Hanuk Village is a fun and educational way to spend an afternoon. This preserved district of several ancient neighborhoods gives you a feel for what it was like to live in Korea 600 years ago. It's right in central Seoul, in the area between the Jiangbokgung Palace and the Changdeokgung Palace. Number 3 National Museum of Korea This must-see attraction in Seoul showcases the incredible history and artwork of Korea and the Korean people. The museum, one of the largest in Asia, is in the city's Yongsan district, close to Itaewon. It focuses on archaeology, history, and art and includes a vast collection of works and objects going back more than a million years. Number 4 Latte World Tower One of the newest attractions in Seoul is the Latte World Tower skyscraper. The tallest building in South Korea, it's 500 meters above the ground and currently the fifth tallest building in the world. The vase-like shape, with gentle curves, is designed to mimic traditional Korean ceramic pieces. There are several indoor and outdoor observation areas, called Seoul Sky, at the top on the 117th to 123rd floors. Views are spectacular both during the day and at night, and you can see 360 degrees around the city. Number 5 DMZ A remnant of the Korean War, the DMZ, demilitarized zone, is the area located along the border between North and South Korea. This highly sensitive and highly fortified area can only be visited during an official tour. Aside from the visit to the DMZ, a tour gives you a chance to get out of urban Seoul and see a bit of the Korean countryside. Number 6 Jiangbokgung Palace First built in 1395, Jiangbokgung Palace is the largest of Seoul's five grand palaces built during the powerful Joseon dynasty. Destroyed and rebuilt several times over the centuries, it was restored to its original glory after the Second World War and totally restored in the 1990s. Within the palace grounds, you can also find the National Palace Museum of Korea and the National Folk Museum of Korea, and both are worth a visit. Number 7 Seoul Museum of Art Located behind the Deoxagung Palace, Sima as it's known to locals, has a large collection of artwork, mainly from the modern era. The art museum focuses on Korean art and Korean artists, but has a decent selection of international works and creators. Changing temporary and visiting exhibitions also showcase unique collections and artwork. The collection is displayed over three floors in a large building that was formerly the home of the Korean Supreme Court. Number 8 Blue House The Blue House is Korea's version of the White House. It's the official residence of the Korean president, as well as the location of his and related executive offices of state. The Blue House isn't really a single building, it's an entire campus of buildings, all built in the traditional Korean style and all featuring the distinctive blue tile roofs where it gets its name. Number 9 Bonjunsa Temple Bonjunsa is one of many Buddhist temples in and around Seoul. It first opened in the year 794 and is a complex of multiple buildings and shrines. It's easy to visit, as it's centrally located in the exciting Gangnam area. The temple is on the side of a low mountain, directly across the street from the massive COEX Convention Center and Mall. Number 10 Gwangwaman Gate The largest and main gate to Seoul's Jiangbokgung Palace 
Guangwaman Gate is home to the changing of the guard ceremony, performed since 1469, which happens daily, except Tuesdays, at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. The gate has undergone many renovations and rebuilding, most recently in 2010, when it was restored to its original location and reconstructed with native materials using traditional tools and building techniques. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.